everybody and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my December favorites this video is like really overdue so I'm gonna just get into it um, the first thing I have which I've shared with you guys on my channel before is my um, planner so this one is for 2018 2019 and it says this year will be my year I am claiming it okay and it's it's really cute it comes with like stickers like different types of stickers you can put and it's just a very fun journal with different encouraging quotes um for january i can show you guys what i have this is basically what my month looks like for january with youtube videos and bills it has a notes section that i used to write all my bills down and all that stuff and it pretty much just continues through the journal and at the very back it has some like notes pages um, I got this from Indigo or Chapters, wherever you're at, for, I think I got it on sale for $12.50 if I'm not mistaken, but this retails regular price $26, so this is number one for my favorite of December. Um, next I'm going to move into makeup stuff. So Rihanna just came out with the new gloss bomb in the color Fussy, which I did a video about. I'll put it in my cards above or in the description box below. But uh, she also came out with Diamond Milk a few months ago, but I didn't really start loving it until winter time because I feel like it's just wintry. And it, Diamond Milk is what I'm wearing right now, but these are the two colors. Diamond Milk is more of like a clear gloss with glitter in it and fussy is a very nude-ish pink color and they're all universal shades so they pretty much look good on any skin tone so these are my two favorite um lip glosses right now that i've just been wearing all the time i can't tell you the last time i've worn lipstick and you, lipstick used to be my thing i used to wear lipstick all the time and now all i've been doing is wearing like lip glosses by fenty mac next just lip gloss i love lip gloss right now my next beauty product i did a review on slash tutorial on um i think last week it's the magic mini by juvia's place this palette is so pretty it's super pigmented the colors are beautiful i only used well, i think i used quite a bit of colors i think i used three or four colors from this palette so this is the colors that are in the palette so it goes from like very neutral to vibrant colors if you're into that i'm a very neutral person so i'm like i need to get something that's gonna bring me out of my comfort zone or whatever so i thought this palette was like a cute addition to my makeup collection or my eyeshadow collection so i really like this palette um i think i don't know how much this real retails for but i'll double check so the magic mini palette by juvia's place retails for about 20 dollars us i believe that's how much i paid for at ulta in florida so this is my second favorite um beauty product next we're moving into skincare and it's the yoni shaving foam by um lulu Holistic. so i've been using this product on my channel for i want to say a year or so but i've been using their products for over a year if not a year something like that as when they came out is when i started ordering from them and i recently got the yoni shaving foam so now i'm prone to like ingrown hairs and dark marks and like you know like regular stuff that you get with becoming a female not only have i used this to shave my yoni area but i've used it to shave my legs and my underarms and it leaves my skin feeling really soft so i really like this shaving foam it's very gentle on the skin not very harsh it doesn't strip any moisture from shaving but it puts the moisture back into your skin and there's a lot of benefits from this product um, all the prices and stuff I'll put in the description box below. If you're interested in purchasing the Yoni um, shaving foam by Lulu Solistics, I do have a coupon code um, with the company right now, and it's cap in all caps, no quotation marks, Danielle, so D A N I E L L E, and that gives you 15% off your purchase. I'll put it across the screen, and I'll also put it in the description box below. And I'm not just saying this because I have a code. 
everything that I buy from them I buy with my own money and I really believe in the product and if you're really into natural skincare or you want to transition from using a lot of chemicals on your skin I would suggest checking out products by Lulu's Holistics so the next item I have are actually candles. So I did candles in my other video, but these ones are by Bath & Body Works. So I've been loving very like musky scents, like cologne, and I, I blame it on my boyfriend because I love the smell of his cologne. And um, I've been in love with this flannel candle by Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. like. It so, smells so good. It smells like, I don't know, I can't even describe the smell, but it just smells like really good cologne. And I even have it as the air freshener in my car. And the scent is very powerful. Like I can burn it in my room with the door, the door closed and the scent will go to like the hallway or in my living room house. I just really love this candle and I'm reviewing these based on... Um, like my rating, like how much I love them the most. So I like the flannel candle the most. The next candle that I burn every um, winter is again by Bath & Body Works, but it's a salted caramel. It's just a very sweet scent. This is not something that I burn all the time. Um, I'm a candle person, so depending on my mood depends on the candles that I burn. And I burnt this like before Christmas and it just brings that feeling to the room that warmth you know that kind of sweetness and um yeah i really love this candle it's very sweet so i don't burn it very often but as i said i burn my candles based on the mood and the last candle that i have from bath and body works which i actually got a gift as a gift from a co-worker which is um called the vanilla bean noel by um, bath and body works I love Vanilla Bean. I love the body spray. The body spray, my mom gets it for me every year. Um, vanilla Bean and Twisted Peppermint. I really love the body spray, so I can only imagine what this candle smells like. I haven't had the chance to burn it yet because I have about 15 candles in my room. And yeah, I'm just going to save this one because I really love the smell of Vanilla Bean. The next item that I'm going to move into is my favorite thing so far so I've had like a little mirror that flips around with the zoom side and the regular side for years and it doesn't carry the best lighting like there's a lot of glare and reflection from it, especially because I wear glasses so I got this vanity mirror um, it's by impressions vanity company and I got it from winners and I think it was $24 and it's an LED mirror so like this is what I used to do my makeup you can you can sorry put the batteries here in the back and then there's a switch here as well for on and off and to turn the mirror on you just tap this and the lights turn on so if you're really into like doing your makeup and you need like that good good mirror I would recommend a vanity mirror not necessarily just by this company but vanity mirrors in general I really love this mirror like look at it Ugh. So the next thing I have is Techie again. I've been wanting a ring light and guys I've been talking about getting a ring light for a while and I was originally going to buy the newer ring light on Amazon but I'm like I'm not in any position to be spending $90 right now. So I went on good old AliExpress and I found me um, a ring light for 30 bucks and it's big enough to where my actual DSLR camera can go in the middle of it and yeah this is my ring light guys this is the biggest one they had I think this is 20 centimeters um, it comes with a USB cable it didn't come with the cube to plug it in but I believe that's because you can plug it into your laptop but I just used an old like Apple cube that I found and I plug it into my extension cord so the cord is pretty long and it comes with the remote right here to turn it on and it came with the stand it came with a monopod it came with a tri like it's a monopod and the tripod I broke the tripod because I'm clumsy as hell good thing I had a backup so I broke the tripod but it came with a monopod which stretches really long so if I need 
that ring light to be on the floor and in front of my camera I would be able to use it for that and um, yeah the ring light itself so there's three different settings there's natural lighting there's like a bluish whitish light or like true white I don't know the, the terms it didn't come with an instruction manual but um, I'm gonna turn it on for you guys and show you what it looks like so this is it on really bright this is the brightest and this is it going really low this is the lowest you can barely see it but this is the brightest light this is the yellowish natural lighting I think I want to call it that and then there's another option this is the lighting that I'd probably use to record my videos so I got a ring light and it was very affordable I will be putting the link to this ring light in my description box below I'm all about like buying affordable stuff for my channel instead of spending a lot of money like in my opinion the most expensive thing that I want to spend money on with camera equipment is just my camera and lenses I don't want to spend a lot of money on shotgun microphones and ring lights and all that stuff so I just went the most affordable route and I got this ring light from AliExpress as I said they have small ones they have bigger ones they have pink and they have black there's also a lot more vendors that do sell ring lights as well but this is the one that had the best rating I think it had 4.9 stars with over 15,000 reviews so I made sure I picked that up it took about two weeks to come or a little over two weeks to come in the mail and it wasn't damaged or anything and it was packaged really well so I'm very happy with that purchase now the last two items I'm gonna be speaking about are shoes I love shoes one is a heel and one is a sneaker. I'm going to start with the heel because the sneaker is my favorite. So I got these boots from Call It Spring. I haven't had a chance to wear them yet because um, suede doesn't do well in snow. So maybe like autumn or springtime, sorry, I'll be wearing these shoes. I got these for... I think they were like... $90 or something like that and they're really cute boots guys like look at these so they're like these suede boots this would look good with like <laughs> my brother this would look good with like a mini skirt and turtleneck and maybe like a waist bag they're just really cute booties they're not pointy they're round in the front and I really really like them yeah and it has a zipper and they're really comfortable i really like spring shoes because they're comfortable they last really long and it's just easy to maintain once you buy the things to take care of the shoe the last shoe i have is by fila fila and i've been wanting these shoes for so long so i got the disruptor 2 premiums by fila in a size 9 women um, because I heard that they run a little small and when I went to get get an eight and a half They didn't have the eight and a half and I like to wear thick socks to my shoes. So I just sized up and got the size nine So these are the all-white Disruptor twos by Fila Oh my god! Just looking at them my heart is like oh I want to get these in the pink and they have them in like a green and red kind of like a Gucci design but they're all white but they're sold out already on Urban Outfitters in my size so I don't know if they're going to restock because it's an online exclusive and you know how Urban Outfitters is. I kind of messed it up at the back I was walking down the stairs it's funny my mom was just like isn't it too cold to be wearing white shoes isn't it too uh, snowy outside to be wearing white shoes and I'm just like what are you talking about there's no snow outside it's never too cold to wear white my mom is one of those parents that like certain shoes are for certain occasions certain clothes are for certain occasions and so am I but like shoes come on so I was walking down the stairs going to my car lo and behold I bruised the heel of my shoes on the concrete staircase so it's not that obvious nothing that I can't wipe off but yeah they're really cute so that's pretty much it for my December favorites. Now we're going to move into my favorite music, like my favorite songs um, for the month of December. I have them written down and I'm just going to play it on uh, my Google Home. Um, so the first song 
is by Georgia Smith. I love Georgia Smith and it's called The One. So I like that song by Georgia Smith. The next song is called um, Shea Butter Baby by J. Cole and Ari Lennox. Oh, I fell in love with this song after I watched Creed 2. Her voice is beautiful, by the way. I love this song. Um, the next song is called Trust by Brent Fayez. I know the artist, but I didn't hear the song until I went to Florida. And um, somebody introduced me to the song, so yeah. You told me I could trust you, don't die, but really you The last song is by Lucky Day, and it's called Roll Some Mo. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for my December favorites and all my favorite songs for the month of December. Let me know what you guys are going to try from this video or if you know any of the artists that I mentioned or if you like any of the songs that I mentioned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!